Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, I thought I would share an unusual, for many, EDC type bag. Um, the bag itself, I got off of Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. It was only, I don't remember how much. I, I carried it for quite a while until I broke the molly. And, uh, keep the meaning to go ahead and cut that off but never get around to it anyway um, I turned it into an art bag now I've carried pens and pencils and, and doodling materials for years many many of the times I carried an actual leather small woman's purse um, that looked kind of like a small messenger bag type purse but it was a actual woman's purse. It wasn't until recently that we started actually finding bags for men to carry. But um, I was never really too concerned about, you know, people' opinion. Um, it was a means, a means to an end, and that's basically what this is. And what brought it to mind was my my brother actually gave me a couple of new pens today, so. I need to try them out. And a friend requested some, requested a, a drawing that I need to actually start working on. But anyway, like I said, this is, this is kind of just like an everyday doodle, doodle thing. And it's nothing, I mean, this, this is a just basic paper from uh, Dollar Tree. And you can do, you know, it, it's, it's there. It, it does, you know, makes airplanes and you can do doodles and make notes or whatever. The main compartment is uh, fairly well stocked, I think, anyway. I have numerous types of pens. Uh, I've got these uh, Pilot Varsity uh, fountain pen type things. I love these. I've got a full set of those. And then I've got extras in my favorite colors, which are the purple and the red. And then... These are the ones that my brother just gave me. I think they're a gel pen. I'm not sure. But they're kind of cool. And blue. I'm going to go with purple. I think it, it's close enough, right? That looks like it's probably silver. Green. And I don't know. Kind of a bluish color. Let's, actually, I don't even know what colors these write. So... Let's find out, huh? Oh, whatever color that is. Well, it doesn't write very well, whatever it is. So, don't know about that one. This one. Now, in my brother's defense, he, his friend gave him a whole bag full of these things. It may just need to be, I don't know, it may be done. <laughs> That's kind of a neat color. What do we got here? Yeah, I don't think these are going to work. <laughs> Yeah, that one, eh. Nope, runs right out. Oh, that one's right, writing pretty well. At least for now. So, anyway, oh well. Uh, what else do I have in here? Uh, a Sharpie. And a highlighter. 
There is... These are actual enamel paint pens. These are, these are fun to play with. This is a black fountain pen. Couple of small clamps. Just a quickie notepad from, again, probably from Dollar Tree. I think you get these three for a dollar. And then I was at Five Below a while back, and they had these along with a one-foot ruler, but they were 50 cents for the for the set. So I've got a couple sets. One, of course, is in here now. One is in my in my uh, in my everyday bag. There's part of it anyway, and then other parts are at the at the house. So. Kind of stinks about those pens, but oh well. It's the thought that counts, right? And of course, I do other things. I also have, I don't know, I've got a couple of plastic eggs in the truck, I've got a couple of wooden, wooden panels. Um, you know, various things that I actually, that I do doodle on. So. Ugh. Sometimes EDC doesn't have anything to do with survival. EDC just means, you know, you carry it every day because there's a chance you're gonna to wanna to use it at some point during the day. So, this one is, this one rides in the truck right now. If I wanna use the, the pens that are in it, I know where it's at. And I can grab it. Um, yeah, it's just an every everyday doodle bag. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is. Y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to check me out on your social, or check me out on Facebook, Instagram, or Imager. I'll have links in the description box eventually. Um, you also find my email and my snail mail and some similar type videos and yeah uh, if you'd like to share me around on your social media that'd be fandoculous um, breast cancer is an insidious disease October is breast cancer awareness month and uh Although it's more prevalent in women, it also affects men. It affects children. Um, I get you. There we go. I was reading an article the other day, and it said something about uh, one in a thousand women under 30 have breast cancer. One in a thousand men have breast cancer. Those are some crazy numbers. Really makes you have to sit up and think. Um, if something doesn't feel right, you feel a pinprick in, in your chest muscles or your breast muscles. Uh, if something doesn't feel right in your armpit or up under your jaw, in your groin, um, get it checked out. Other, you know, skin cancers and colon cancers and stuff like that, they have their own signs that, you know, just uh, kind of be aware of them. If something if something doesn't seem right, get it checked out. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, people. 
If you're estranged, forgive, forget, apologize. You may not get another chance. They may not get another chance. It could be you pushing up the daisies. You never know. I hope not. I want to see y'all again. And until I do, I hope you have a fan day. Slotchy, y'all. Bye-bye.